Oh, f oh my God, this is gnarly. I'm gonna have to break my way through this. I've got a sweet mountain bike that gets me out on the trail, but I've gotten into trouble with it out there. Oh. Ah. So I'm on a mission to document trails for adaptive riders. Stop it. Check out this view. Oh my God. Check this out. There's the trail up there. Just how did I get here? Well, let's rewind and I'll show you. Okay, let's see if I can even get through here. Major tree down. <laughs> I just started the ride. And to get over this tree, I could go over it, but it's off camber to a drop off. Oop. Break, come on. Ah. Ah. It's too strong. Uh, I don't think I can break it. Oh, got it. Okay, I'm going to um, cut video and cut some uh, branches. I'm currently in Marin County. And I'm riding out of a state park area um, called SP Thompson, SP Thomas. It's a really nice state campground. They have ADA sites that are paved, so it makes it easy. You're not pushing around through gravel and stuff like that. And then uh, the trail area is all fire road dependent. So, you know, adaptive riders can ride here solo, no problem. The only thing is that you know, fire roads tend to be steep, so if you've got front wheel drive, sorry, you're probably gonna need a push. But, I mean, other than that, AMTB1, all good to go. Yeah, I'm just been climbing up this fire road to the top, it's so beautiful. For the route, I started from my campsite at SP Taylor State Park. There's an awesome pathway that goes along Lagunitas Creek. There's a dam and a lake with trails just down the way. I'll have to check it out next time. I climb the steep fire road up the ridge line and the views are amazing at the top. Then I headed down the other side and found Bill's trail, which was quite the adventure, which I'll show you in the video. This trail is super fun and awesome, but definitely needs some work to be okay for adaptive riders. After completing the trail, I tried to make a big loop by going up this highly or hardly ever ridden fire road, but got turned around by a gate at the top and had to come back down. I found a way to cross the creek, back to the pathway, back to my campsite for an icy cold Sierra Nevada brew. 11 and a half miles, 1985 feet of ascent, and I did it in about three hours. Okay, I'm looking for a trail called Bill's Trail. I'm gonna look at it and see if it's doable. My buddy Vernon Huffman, who knows this area better than anybody says he thinks it'll be all good except for one maybe issue so i don't know we'll, we're gonna look at it oh acquired branch <laughs> oh, i just uh bringing this along with me <laughs> all right let's go find this trail it's pretty scary like a thousand foot drop off on the left. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Kamikaze. Here's Bill's trail and it looks like we are gambling a little bit. But look at this bench cut. This is nice and wide. This is great. Now there's a big windstorm 
yesterday so there was a down tree earlier hopefully we don't run into any more of that i'm going really really slow um just because i'm a little nervous to ride a new trail here comes a bridge it looks wide enough oh <laughs> plenty wide look at this this trail's pretty incredible. Definitely needs a little cleanup after uh, this that wind event though. So I'm gonna have to Austin Powers this one. Uh, not bad. Let's see, am I gonna make it? Uh, one more, one more. Oh. Uh. Got it. See, this is an example of what looks to be a machine cut trail that has naturalized. So look, the bench, God, I wanna say it's even five feet, maybe even six feet, but it's grown over and naturalized over the years and has the appearance of a single track. This is a great trail. Just going slow, because I don't know what's coming up. Never ridden this before, and I'm all by myself. Here's one of the, another one of the chicanes. No problem. Those are to slow people down, because people like to fly through here. Typical storm damage, as my friend Uriah would say. Oh. Got it. Oh, I thought I had it. <laughs> I feel like I'm in uh, Empire Strikes Back on Endor or uh, the Dagobah system. Okay, this chicane is a little tighter, but no, not at all. Look at that. That's fine. Whew. Oh, there's some sort of varmint up there. I saw some sort of creature, fuzzy creature running off it's either a big squirrel or some sort of marmot uh down tree yeah 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 i should be able to fit under this or shimmy it down the hill oh it's a big one oh f Okay, I got my wheels under it. Now I gotta go under it. A little sketchy off camber. I'm through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How you doing, bud? Good, brother. Oh yeah? We'll see how it goes. All right, that guy said there's more down trees up ahead and that it'll be interesting so uh we'll see that is the danger of riding after a storm Ooh, had to choose my line wisely there bridge is 48 maybe even 60. This is a kind of a tight turn right here. And this is sketchy. I am going to flip over otherwise. So, oh, I am stuck. <laughs> I'm backed up against the bridge. I really need to shimmy my rear wheel over. If I blast forward, I'm going to go up this bank and I'm going to flip over. So I got to figure something out here because I cannot reverse. Oh, just little inches. Oh, I think I'm going to, I got it now. I got it now. Yeah. Got it. Whew. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Look at this little sunlit little bridge in here. How cool is this? So now I got to come out wide and then we got it. Okay. Just rolling slow because I'm a big wide load coming through here. I'm collecting all kinds of goodies I'm bringing home. There goes one. Yeah. Uh, 
Uh, acquired stick. Oh, it's stuck in there. Oh, that was weird. Okay. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Are you freaking kidding me? What? Oh, <laughs> the dirt is sticky here. <laughs> so I can't slide like I can back home in San Diego where it's just dust. My uh, shifter cable is coming loose here. I'm gonna have to look at that. Might have to replace that cable. Oh, okay. Okay. This is a major, major issue. I'm gonna have to cut the camera because this is gonna take me a long time to get through. This is, this whole, oh my God, this is gnarly. I'm gonna have to break my way through this. Okay, I'll start the camera up. I'm gonna have to change the battery and anyways. Holy f I can't believe I got through that. Uh, I mean, I could not have filmed that. It, it would have been way too hard. I mean, the POV, you wouldn't be able to see anything. And I would, there's no way I could go back and grab a camera that I left back there, but I just saw two branches, which is a lot of work with a little blade, but definitely carry a Leatherman with a saw with you. And uh, whew, that, was gnarly, that was gnarly. Um, okay, we'll see how much more of that we got. Oh shit, oh shit. No, 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 no. I blew it. Ah, oh, I can't get back up. <laughs> Nothing to grab onto. <laughs> After all that, ah, uh, I can't get back up. Ah, oh, shit, I'm down. I'm down. Okay, at least I'm not off trail and uh, I can get back in quickly. Okay, bye. Pretty sure what I fell into was poison oak. I'm starting to itch on my arm already. We'll see. Um, is this poison oak right here? I don't know. I'm definitely itching. There's nowhere I can put the camera. If I put it here, uh, I'm sorry. I just, uh, it's gonna be too hard to film me getting back in the bike. Okay. Okay, I'm back in the bike. Oh, f I shouldn't touch my face. Uh, who knows? I don't know if that's poison oak or not. Uh, I don't think it is. The itching's going away. I was all stoked after coming through all the down trees and then just hit the chicane and rode up on it. Oh, well. Okay. We're rolling. Look around oh. where you are. God, this is beautiful. Holy crap, this is beautiful. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. Take a breath where you stand. If I stay high, that is a big boy here. down. Someone so someone did that. Oh. There we go, that one's gone. Oh. <laughs> We're through. Holy that is a large tree down. Ten million suns across the sky won't outshine my love for you. Far in the dark with blinding light won't outshine my love for you. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. We're gonna hit a series of scoops back here. Here's the first one. I think there's like four of them, maybe. <laughs> Saved it. <laughs> There's a lot of down trees. Yeah. There's a lot of down trees between us. Yeah. There's the gate. The gate is fine. How you doing? There are a lot of down trees, just so you know. That's so cool. Thanks. <laughs> Have a good one. Ten million suns across the sky won't outshine my life. Ah. Oh. Oh, almost flipped over. <laughs> Saved it. Getting good at my track stand wheelies. <laughs> oh shit, that was gnarly. That was really gnarly. Luckily I had speed. I saw it coming and I had speed. And I just went for it. Whew, that's scary. 
I think it's a straight shot to the end now. And once I get to the end, I'll have to look at the map, see where I have to go to get out of here, get back to my van, have a beer. Post ride beer is a must. Although this ride was a lot of work, I was stoked on the adventure and had a great time. That night, some friends visited me at my campsite and we had beers around the fire. I can't wait to go back. Thanks for watching, and now it's your turn. Put that phone down and go get your hug from Mother Nature. That rattling you're hearing is my spare battery. I have it strapped on. I have a strap on, <laughs> and it rattles. Thank you.